And you know we are going to go in this morning because someone is calling Harry and Meghan tone deaf whiny brats. Uh, that person, of course, is Pierce Morgan. Who else? Pierce, like the rest of us, got a first look at the new book about the royals called Finding Freedom. It's a very personal and intimate look at their lives. Mm. And in today's Daily Mail, Pierce says the book confirms that their world's most that they are the world's most tone deaf, hypocritical, narcissistic, deluded, whiny brats. He mm. had a lot to say. Do you guys agree with his assessment? Mm. Not even close. Not even close. When you look at Harry and Meghan, you have to understand this. Okay, the royal family didn't work. I think I think Harry, first of all, was just, he's a personality that likes to spread his wings. He likes to do what he wants to do. And it just so happens that he found a partner that is riding with him and wants to do the things that he wants to do. So look, they separated from the royal family. I get it. But they still got to bring in the coin. So of course they're going to drop a book. Of course there's going to be things about their, their intimate parts of their life that are going to be in the book because it has to sell copies. But do I think they're whiny brats because they're kind of letting people in, you know, into their lives a little bit? Absolutely not. And coming from someone who has a New York Times bestselling book myself, you can go pick it up at Barnes and Noble. Um, you can't. <laughs> this is what you have to do. To you got to give people a little bit of something personal so that they they can go in and buy your book. That's what this is all about. Well, well Victor, I bought this, cruise control. From... I bought I bought cruise control, Victor, and there was nothing personal in it. Okay, so. <laughs> Well, let me just First say this really quickly out of the blue. because a, a rep from Harry and Meghan told us that they did not contribute to the book. So this is okay. not their book. This is an author that claims that they spoke to over 100 sources, which is how they got such personal information. So the book is about them, but they didn't write it. Um, the sources gave them all the information from uh, okay, to this first author. Of first of all. Nina, you know as well as I know, working in this business, we know that every celebrity has a few henchmen. You know, I don't yes. want to put my name on it. I don't want to get my hands dirty. But mm -hmm. wouldn't it be crazy if your friend over at TMZ found out about this personal detail? Look, <laughs> the thing is, I do ride for Meghan and Harry, and I understand everything that's going on with them, and I feel bad for them. However, the one thing that was missing in this book was them taking accountability for at least one thing. That's the only problem I have with this. I could see where they felt like they were trapped. I could see where they felt like they had been turned against, but they're just not taking accountability for anything at all. But it's not their book. It's not their book. How do they take accountability for something they didn't write? Come on, Nina, come on. Just like her five friends, just like her five. Just like her five Why would I random... take accountability? If you decide to write something about my life, I don't have to take accountability for anything. I, it's not my book. You wrote it. Yeah, that's true. But it's, it's still going to come out, and it's still going to be things in there that are probably true. And depending on what those are, they should probably own up to a couple of those. It, it, and it's not anything wrong or anything bad about them. They're living their own lives right now. They're doing what they want right. to do. So I wouldn't mind them owning up to one, maybe two I of those things like that are being said. they get villainized a lot because they don't want to go this traditional route. And I also think that there is a huge disconnect with how Megan relates to a lot of this because she's American, because she's a, a, you know a celebrity from America and she had a different way of life and also because she's a black woman and I feel like there's been a lot of insensitivity to her that regard for how she's been treated in the press the way that she's been treated compared to everybody else has been completely different because they didn't have to deal with a lot of the same type of headlines that she did mm -hmm. she felt very triggered by the way that she was treated by a lot of the press in, in Britain because of the fact that a lot of it was race baiting a lot of it was you know saying things that were really offensive to her so of course she's very defensive when she's dealing with that and then also the fact that she was very popular coming over there and so they were saying that she was kind of taking over for Kate yeah. because she she was more popular than Kate and that's to be expected so a lot of it not that it's not her fault but it's like look if my light is shining bright and it's overshadowing you step your game up don't get mad at me <laughs> no Nina Nina exactly. that is not that Nina I totally get it at Come the same now. time if you're walking into an institution that's been built for hundreds you know hundreds and hundreds of years sometimes you got to learn the ropes before you start stepping out before you get crazy now I'm not saying what she did was wrong I just would have played my game a little bit slower I would have followed a protocol but before just jumping ship and surprising and rolling up on the queen being like hey all we're here from Canada her, though, we need to right? talk about leaving no it's not but it's, it's not, not her just fault. her 
I'm talking about Dan. It's not her fault that her popularity grew like that. It's not her fault that the attention came to her the way it did when she got there. It wasn't right. her fault. And it's not her fault that she linked up with Harry, who was riding with her and was like, you know what? We're doing this on our own. Let's rock and, out. And Pierce Morgan is thirsty. Like, the fact that he attacks them in any given day, that he has always has an opinion. He can't he wait. He always has something <laughs> nasty to say about them. Mm -hmm. Like, he's, he's, he's on their mind all the time. I hope that he is paying rent because he is really living in their minds. It's just, it's a little <laughs> ridiculous.